the Eagles might have found their new power back. The team on Wednesday signed former Colts and Redskins running back Matt Jones to a two-year deal. Jones, 25, was a third-round pick in the 2015 draft and spent his first two seasons in Washington before joining the Colts for the 2017 season. Jones, 6-2, 239, played just five games for the Colts last season but bounced back and forth from the active roster to the practice squad. Jones had just five rushing attempts in five games all last season. He was cut on May 1st. In his two seasons in Washington, Jones played in 20 games, averaging 3.9 yards per carry. As a rookie in 2015, he played in 13 games and rushed for 490 yards and three touchdowns. In his second season, Jones rushed for 460 yards and three touchdowns but had an average of 4.6 yards per attempt. A knee injury in 2016 buried him on the depth chart. While Jones showed some potential in Washington, he had trouble holding on to the ball. In those two years, he fumbled eight times, tied for the second most among running backs in the NFL during that span. Jones will join a crowded running back room that includes Jay Ajayi, Corey Clement, Darren Sproles, Wendell Smallwood, Donald Pumphrey and undrafted rookie Josh Adams. Those top three are locks. After that, the fourth and possibly fifth spots are up for grabs. Really, it'll be at least a three-man race between Jones, Smallwood and Pumphrey, with Adams acting as a wild card. A photo from the Eagles emerged on Wednesday that showed Carson Wentz with his teammates at spring workouts while wearing his red no. 11 jersey, an undoubtedly good sign. But the photo also showed Wentz wearing a black brace on his surgically repaired left knee, that's probably a sign of things to come. Wentz tore his ACL and LCL exactly five months ago, so it shouldn't be surprising to see him wearing a brace right now, but it seems very possible Wentz will be wearing that brace for the foreseeable future and possibly for the rest of his career, it's something that we're working through with the training staff, with the surgeon, with the doc. Wentz said on WIP Thursday morning, after promoting his AO1 Foundation's new goal. It's just something at this part of the rehab process, it's something that can be beneficial and just a little more protective, but we'll just see as we go here, just getting used to that, and see what that's going to look like for this season and for the rest of my career. Who knows? We'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. It's worth noting that Wentz mentioned the rest of his career while talking about the brace. Even though he's just entering his third NFL season, it seems possible that Brace will become a staple of his attire, which was suggested by a well-respected orthopedic surgeon on WIP a few months ago. If Wentz does end up wearing an e-brace for the rest of his career, he wouldn't be alone. Plenty of quarterbacks wear braces, even ones who have never injured a knee. Many right-handed QBs already wear braces on their left knees because that's the front-facing leg in their throwing stances, then there are guys who have injured their knees and have gone on to wear them for the rest of their careers. Carson Palmer and Tom Brady come to mind, but not every player with a serious knee injury wears a knee brace. Robert Griffin III, who suffered a terrible injury as a rookie, wore a brace in his 2013 season but dropped it in the years after. Wentz isn't as mobile as RGII was, but he's also not a statue like Palmer and Brady. His mobility falls somewhere in between, so wearing a brace could potentially limit that mobility. On Thursday, Wentz was asked how cumbersome wearing a brace will be, just getting used to it now. Wentz answered. It's still pretty new. Right now, I'm just in the feeling out process with the brace, what it could potentially look like. Again, I don't know how I feel about it quite yet, but we're working through that. Wentz has continued to say his goal is to return for week one. If that happens, he'll probably be wearing the brace for the opener, and perhaps much longer. Matt Jones was a 2015 third round draft pick. However, he's joining his third team in four seasons. 
he played a career-low five games in 2017 before being cut by the Colts. The previous two seasons, he fumbled eight times with the Redskins. Is he really an option to make the Eagles, who signed him Wednesday to a two-year deal despite already having a slew of running backs in the fold? Coming out of Florida, he averaged 5.3 yards per carry over three years, never surpassed 1,000 yards in a season rushing, NBC Sports Philadelphia's Derek Gunn said on this week's edition of the Eagle Eye podcast. But then he gets to the NFL and going into his rookie campaign, the knock on him was he will lower his head and get you a couple yards here and there, but he constantly missed keeping his head up, seeing the open space to pick up even more yards, and that seemed to be the case when he ran for the Redskins. Jones has size at 6 foot 2, 239 pounds, making himself a candidate to replace LeGarrette Blount's role for the Eagles. But there's probably a reason why Jones was available. When you're cut after two years of a rookie contract and you're a third-round draft pick, Gunn said. Now, I understand the Redskins are not a juggernaut in the NFL and they're not a model everybody else wants to establish themselves by, but you're a third-round pick on a team that needed help at running back and you couldn't sustain yourself. I've got a question mark about this guy. The Eagles, of course, also have Jay Ajayi, Corey Clement, Darren Sproles, Wendell Smallwood and Donald Pumphrey already here. Ajayi, Clement and Sproles are not going anywhere, obviously, while Smallwood was a fifth-round pick in 2016 and Pumphrey a fourth-round selection in 2017. Not to mention undrafted rookie Josh Adams will be among the competition, as well. Matt Jones has played three years and fluctuated between the practice squad, being active, being inactive last year with the Colts, who stunk. He couldn't get on the field for them, NBC Sports Philadelphia's Rob Ellis said. He was okay in Washington at times but he couldn't hold on to the football, he was a fumbler, look, he's got good size and if you're viewing this as red. zone, inside the, 5-yard line, he can punch one in for you, or it's third and one and you want to bring him in, but the risk is he fumbles the ball. I'm not sure he makes this team, I'm not real excited about it, for the full podcast and assorted breakdown, listen below. You can also subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Art19, Stitcher, Google Play or anywhere you get your podcasts. 1.30, Eagle sign Jones, will he make the team, 7 o'clock, still expecting Sproles to be productive coming off injury, 9.30, anything to keep an eye on during rookie camp, 13.30, is Carson. Wentz putting unnecessary pressure on himself, 1600, who is the most indispensable member of the Eagles, player, coach, front office member, 2300, Kurt Warner will to come back at 47 years old.